Hello, today we're going to be talking about lengthening notes and shortening notes. So lengthening notes is when, when you make a note longer, shortening notes is when you make a note shorter. So there's very, very obvious ways of lengthening notes. Okay, so say you've got a quaver, but you want to play something longer than a quaver, the next note up would be a crotchet. So the first way you can get length in a note is potentially by removing a tail, okay? And if you wanted to make that note even longer, you're making it a minimum. <laughs> and even longer still, because we're on a roll. I'll get rid of the stem. That now is the same we believe. That's the most obvious way of lengthening notes, okay? But in my eyes, that's not lengthening the note, that's completely changing the note. Okay, so instead of having a quaver, you've suddenly got a crotchet. So you're not lengthening it, you're completely changing it. So a lot of folk might say, well, that's how you lengthen it. In my eyes, you're completely changing it, but that's just me. Okay. The most common way to lengthen a note is by adding a dot to the note. So when you add a dot, to a note, what it does is it increases its value by half of its original value. Okay, so you know what a crotchet is. What's half of a crotchet, you say? Well, if you're not sure what half of a crotchet is, let's get rid of the dot for now. Split it in half. And you get two quavers, don't you? So, that is half of a crotchet, and that is the other half of a crotchet. So half of the crotchet's a quaver. So I was saying when a dot is added to a note, the dot equals half of what the note value is. So that dot is equal to a quaver as well. So the, the way you would increase, or the most common way for us to increase a note's value is to place a dot over it. So when you've got, let's do this as a mathematical sum. Dot of crotchet equals, when you've got the crotchet, already, plus the tail. So have a think what you think the tail's value would be. Yep, so you split the crotchet in half, it's a quaver. So that dotted crotchet is the same value as a crotchet and a quaver. Let's do a couple more. Let's do a minimum and we'll dot it. So a minimum, dotted minimum is equal to you've got your minimum straight away. And then what do you think would be half the value of a minimum? So again, if you split the minimum in half, think back to the duration table or table of relative note values, okay, where we started at the top and worked down like a pyramid. It would be a crotchet. So dotted minimum is a minimum plus a crotchet. And the tricky thing for drummers is we can't really stretch a note, okay? Um, or we can, but for pipers you would hold that note a little bit longer. So say it was a high A and it's got a dot on it, instead of just going A, you're getting A, it's stretching and you're holding that note a bit longer. For drummers, say you're doing one and two and one and two and the one's got a dot on it okay it becomes one and two one one and two see how i'm stretching it so the space tap 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 is longer as opposed to just tap 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 dot and dot and dot see how it stretches it that way okay so when we're shortening notes okay this is the exact same idea as I said before, a lot of folk don't teach the shortening notes lesson anymore. And you can't put a dot on it on a note to shorten it. For me, if you're wanting to play something shorter than a crotchet, you would add a tail. Okay, and that's making it a quaver, which is shorter, isn't it? If I wanted to play something even shorter, add a second tail, that's a semi quaver. I can add a third tail again. And it becomes a demi semi quaver. 
So certainly when I was learning theory, lengthening and shortening notes was a big thing. And you would be asked about shortening notes, how do you shorten a note? Well, you would add a tail, okay? Or if it was a crotch, um, let me say a minimum, you can't add a tail to a minimum, okay? If you're on a short and a minimum, you fill in the head and it becomes a crotch, yeah? But again, they've stopped teaching that because you're actually changing the note altogether. Like I said, with the length and the notes, you're completely changing the note altogether. But it's good to know, all right, because Again, helpful knowing your full duration table that if you're playing a crotch but it's just too long, add a tail to it as I've done there and then it becomes shorter, then it becomes a quaver. So let's go back to the length and the notes again. And the very first one we've done was dotted crotch it. Was that sometimes you'll see a note that's got a second dot on it. Poof, I know. Two dots, man. What's that all about? Alright. So you know that the, the first dot is equal to half the value of that note. The second dot is half the value of the first dot. So that's you making it longer still, but just by a tiny bit. Okay, so we need to do another add sign. So we know the first dot was a quaver, second dot is a semi-quaver. Okay, so if you ever see, and, and drumming is very rarely we'll see that, okay, we'll very rarely see a double dotted note. You know that it's equal to a crotch chip, half, which is a quaver, half again, semi-quaver. And I'll do one more. That's a school bell, love it man. We'll do a minimum. And we're gonna double dot that bad boy. So that's equal to a minimum plus half was your crotch chip plus half again is a quaver. So that's how we deal with double dotted notes. And you can get dotted rests, okay? Pipers will not get them. Drummers, yeah we will. Alright, so if we do, and you can double dot a rest as well, it's the exact same principle. So let's deal with a couple here, we'll do a quaver, crotch rest, and we'll do a quaver rest. And we'll dot them both. So the dotted crotch at rest equals your crotch it plus your quaver rest dotted quaver rest equals your quaver rest plus your semi quaver rest okay exact same idea exactly the same and another way that you'll very you'll not maybe not get asked this but it's really good to know another way you can lengthen a note and you'll see this on Possibly pipe scores or pipe tunes, you'll very rarely, if ever, I've never seen it on a drum score before, okay? You'll see a dot placed above the note with a wee arc like that. kind of looks like a wee eyeball <laughs> above the note. That is a pause sign or the fermata. And when you see a fermata, that's basically you hold that note for the conductor or the pipe major, or whoever is in charge of the musical ensemble, it's their discretion. Okay, and you'll maybe see it a lot in orchestras. Okay, they'll come to the end of a tune, and they've got the pause sign, and everyone's like that, looking, <laughs> looking at the conductor, holding the note in the trombone, trumpet, violin, whatever it is, and he'll be or she'll be like this, and then boom, does that. Okay, he or she will hold that note for musical effect, however long he or she wants to do it and then he'll just go like that and then that's when the notes cut off and everyone stops in time hopefully okay so that is our lesson on lengthening and shortening notes and in pipe band drumming 
you'll see when I know it's got a dot on it, say it's got a dot on it, it will need to have a cut. Okay, dots and cuts. But we'll deal with that further down the line. Okay, but as a quick introduction to it, you've got two quavers here. That quaver is split in half, so it's increased, and we would need to decrease that note there by putting a cut on it. Dots and cuts and dots and cuts and dots and cuts. We'll deal with dots and cuts more in depth when we go on to music writing in more depth. Okay, so don't worry too much about that yet, but you'll have seen them before.